This is uh, Kyle Sasser, and this is uh, episode 29 of Great Things Tampa Bay. And today we have a little bit of a, uh, a hidden spot, a little hidden hole over in Tampa, Florida. Um, I know y'all might have been uh, feeling a little bit left out over there in Tampa. Hadn't talked about anything over there in a while. Been talking about strawberries and, uh, you know, St. Petersburg things and um, quite, you know, more than a couple interviews. So I wanted to get back to basics. So today I just tried this place over in Tampa Bay called uh, Piccolo Italian Bistro. And it is amazing. Did a little bit of recording actually in the restaurant um, as I was tasting things. And uh, we'll play that a little bit later, but uh, basically just wanted to give you a real quick rundown. So uh, Piccola Italia Bistro is located over at uh, 2140 uh, West Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Uh, that's basically on MLK in Tampa between the river and Armenia Avenue. Um, it'll be on the south side. There's a big... Um, the sign, the sign's actually the Italian tricolors, um, which is very similar to the Mexican tricolors, <laughs> as uh, Carmelo in the restaurant told me. Uh, hopefully I recorded that. I'm not sure if I was, but basically he said, he said that he moved here from Italy and he was excited because he saw, you know, the, the, the red, white, green everywhere. And he was like, oh, I feel like I'm at home. And then, uh, you know, a few years later, he realized that uh, it was mostly the... Uh, large Mexican contingent we have here. Uh, so <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. So basic rundown here is, uh, I would put this as a, more of a like home Italian cooking. It is from the, um, the Abruzzo and, uh, he, Carmelo will be mad if I pronounce that wrong. Cause he said it to me like three times, but the Abruzzo, uh, area and also Rome, uh, Bologna and Naples. And uh, they make their uh, sauces in-house. And the one thing I can say about them is that they are very balanced. And by that, like that's a very vague term, I know. So most of the times when you have Italian food here, or you know what's classed as Italian food here in the United States, it's all, you know, it's all about the sauce. And this, there's usually like one key defining ingredient of the sauce that just kind of overwhelms everything. At Piccola Italia, it's more of a balanced thing. So, uh, for example, I ordered the Putinesca, which, um, as many of you know, is kind of known for its pungent saltiness. It's basically a spaghetti with uh, capers, olives, anchovies, and a tomato sauce. And the capers and olives uh, in most Putinescas kind of overwhelm um, everything else. Uh, but with this Putinesca at Piccola Italia. Like each ingredient kind of had its own say as you took a bite. So it's like you could taste the tomatoes and then, you know, there was a caper and then, you know, the olives were huge olives with like not the sliced out of a can variety. Um, <laughs> they're huge olives with the pits still in them. So, you know, kind of be, uh, you know, be careful where you're chomping at on these things. And just, uh, just perfect, you know, even the, uh, the herbs and stuff in it, you could pick out each one. I did also get a hold of a pepper, like almost, it was this big sliver of pepper, uh, that lit me up for a little bit. <laughs> so if you do get the Putinesca, be a little mindful that, uh, that is a possibility in there. The other, uh, plate that I had was a brisket's. And that was with uh, the spinach fettuccine, which was also uh, very amazing. And uh, the, the brisket was actually slow cooked and just kind of pulled apart and was melted like butter in your mouth. It was it was deliciously amazing. So the actual place is kind of, uh, you know, just it's, it's a small old place. They have like eight tables. When I walked in, everyone was speaking Italian, um, the staff and all of the people sitting down um, and Carmelo <laughs> came over and uh, started speaking Italian. And I was like, uh, I don't I don't speak Italian. Sorry. He's like, oh, foreigner. Eh? And I was like, oh. <laughs> yep, yep. But it does. It really, you know, just like that sort of vibe. It's very, you know, like European It's very laid back. You know, the, the staff is very friendly and helpful. Uh, Carmelo makes a great um water he calls it his holy water 
And it's basically, you know, water with some botanicals, some citrus, and uh, some radishes in it, which uh, was, uh, I thought was absurd when I saw him bringing the pitcher out, but then I tried it and I was like, hey, you know what, I can't argue with great taste, and uh, this stuff is delicious. So, anyway, I'm going to cut over and uh, just give you kind of the live feed now from when I was actually in the restaurant, uh, something new I thought I'd try out. And uh, yeah, here you go. All right, so I'm here at uh, Piccola Italia, which is located on MLK in Tampa, uh, one block east of uh, Armenia. And you can tell because it's got a huge Italian flag out by the road. <laughs> and uh, came here, wanted to try it out. It was uh, written up as one of the best Italian restaurants in Tampa. And uh, so I'm a big fan of Italia, <laughs> of Italian food, if you've listened to the podcast at all. And uh, yeah, just want to give it a shot. So started off with uh, Carmelo's holy water, which is uh, water infused with uh, a whole blend of blend of botanicals, including radishes, which uh, sounds weird, but absolutely delicious. And then for entrees, I went with the uh, putnesco, which, if you don't know, is a spaghetti with the marinara sauce, um, but a little different than you know, you know your normal meat sauce because it has olives capers, anchovies, and a little bit of pepper spice in it. So um, a lot of times putinescas are kind of overwhelmed by the saltiness of the olives, capers, and anchovies, but this one was actually uh, just the blends were done very well, very well balanced, and amazingly delicious. Um, I had to make sure to not eat all of it, (laughs) so I have uh, something to take home to my wife. And then uh, the other entree I tried was the... Um, oh, and here comes Carmelo with my espresso. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, we're on the de- dessert course right now. Ah, a bruzo. Is that is that in the north or the south or? South, just the just the next row. Next row. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So I got my got my espresso out here and. Uh, Oh, sorry, yes. So the the other entree I had was a brisket with um, spinach, a slow-cooked brisket on spinach fettuccine. And usually, like, the savory, savory sort of dishes like that, I, um, I usually don't go for too much. Uh, just, I, I don't know. It, a lot of times it comes across like pasta gravy. But the, the way it was made here, again, just that perfect balance. Um, every ingredient just kind of speaks for itself absolutely amazing currently (laughs) i'm on the dessert course with the mousse chocolate mousse cake and uh mm, i gotta tell you it's amazing (laughs) and i also have my espresso here Mm, nothing better (laughs) so i'll do a little bit more in depth on this uh, when I get home I just it was so delicious that I wanted to record right now so that was kind of my live take obviously it's a little rough my apologies <laughs> you know but I have never made any claims of this being a professional podcast uh, I'm always working on improving myself but there you go it is what it is uh, you know I'm not quite on the Anthony Bourdain level yet and I apologize for that uh, <laughs> anyway uh, Piccola Italia, um, they do a lot of uh, other great dishes and specials. Um, I couldn't, they read off like eight of them. The, they had like some pasta that had like a, a rack of lamb something on it. And just uh, everything sounded delicious. Oh, I ordered two entrees just so I could bring some home to my wife. And uh, I brought it home and she was she was like, I got to try some bites of this stuff because I was sending her pictures, um, which the pictures you can see on the show notes and also on our website, greatthingstb.com. And yeah, she uh, she agreed. Absolutely delicious. They also do a pasta class that they said was booked out to September, <laughs> which is bananas. And uh, they also pair it with a dinner uh, of some sort. So might be interested in that and uh you know we'll probably look into trying to do something like that just for our own personal knowledge you know like who better to learn it from than someone who is actually from italy um yeah (laughs) so uh it's definitely you know as carmela told me when you know when i went in there and i was talking to him 
Like they don't make any pretenses. They don't try to do anything fancy. Um, you know, like it's not Noma. They're not trying to do any sort of gastro, uh, you know, deconstruction sort of stuff. It's just good food from the heart of Italy um, that I uh, honestly, I mean, everyone should love this stuff. It is amazing. Uh, but like I said, it's not uh, like it's just balanced. Like it's a different sensibility from most American food where it just tries to, you know, it's, it's over, it's, it's a little too loud and in your face, I guess. Like the food at Piccola Italia is just absolutely delicious. And, uh, I know I'm going to be picking up some on the way home, uh, <laughs> from work for the wife, uh, more than once. So, so yeah, so check them out. The Piccola Italia Bistro. And, uh, again, they're on MLK in Tampa between the river and uh, Armenia. Segment two, scientists at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory uh, employed a ferret named Felicia to clean accelerator parts in the 1970s. Uh, so that wraps up episode 29 of Great Things Tampa Bay. I would like to thank you for tuning in. Uh, do be sure to get out there and try Piccola Italia Bistro. Absolutely worth the stop and uh your dinner dollars my name is kyle sasser a host of great things tampa bay i'm also a local realtor so if uh if you would like me to help you find your own great place in tampa bay um, all you got to do is just go to my website greatthingstb.com that's g-r-e-a-t t-h-i-n-g-s-t-b.com and uh, on there uh, there will be a link at the top on the top menu for how to get in touch with me for real estate also, if you have any suggestions or uh, you want to argue about something, uh, I'm more than happy to take you up on that, <laughs> take you up on that, or read your messages. And uh, you can also send that message to me at the website greatthingstb.com. Uh, I'm also on social media, pretty much all of them, uh, just uh, Great Things TB. So you know, find us on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, I try to be active on on uh, most of those. And uh, yeah, today we got. Uh, a new band playing us out here and their name is uh, Stone Marmot and uh, this track's called Can't Undo Loving You <laughs> it's a fun little track and uh, you know was pretty innocent when I, when I listened to it the first time as I was driving across the, uh, the Gandhi Bridge on the way home so good stuff so anyway uh, this is Stone Walmart Oops, not Stone Walmart <laughs> Stone Marmot and uh yeah be sure to subscribe share us with a friend and uh tell me about your great place in tampa bay thank you very much